Good morning, everybody. <laughs> I don't know if any of you are awake, but I got back from Paris last night and I bought so many great things in Paris that I wanted to share them with you. And I woke up quite early and everyone else in the house is asleep. Hello, everybody. And I need to, because I'm totally on my own now, I need to make sure that I've got everything to make this happen. So I got myself shattered. Um, I just woke up, I literally had only brushed my teeth, but I have so many interesting products to show you, one of which lifts your eye. So exciting. Um, and I just thought to myself also that there are some ladies who are in Australia who I haven't um, been in touch with, but I first want to check one or two things. If I hold this up, will you please tell me, good morning Tracy, will you please tell me if it's facing the right way around, because I won't have time perhaps to do a blog. Is that facing the right way round or is it not? It might be that it's always facing the wrong way round because I'm doing it into the mirror, but I can read it out to you slowly. So does that do it for you? Okay, that way. All right, I've got to start because my face is, um, needs a good scrubbing. When I was in Paris, good morning, good morning, Karen, good morning, Deborah. Let me just see who's there. Tracy, good morning, Deborah, good morning, pretty, pretty, pretty good morning, yes. Um, Marle, good morning, everybody. Um, Tracy, so, oh, it is backwards. I'm really sorry. I think, okay, I don't think this will make a difference. Let me just see if this makes a difference. I'm going to turn the phone upside down and tell me if that makes a difference, okay? I don't think it will. Right, I think it's just that I've got a back front. Right, so hang on. So there. So, does that make a difference? Oh my god, no! Hang on, what do I do? Yes, does that make a difference? There. Is it still back to front? You're all upside down, by the way. But is it still back to front? That would be really difficult if I couldn't do that. This is me on my own without any help. Okay, I'm gonna do it like this, whatever. And we're just gonna deal with it. Have a lovely week, everybody. Now in England, it's a holiday and that's why I'm up doing this. Although I sometimes do it on a Monday. I, um, my hair, let's talk about my hair first. So this is, the hair project is going relatively well, but there are moments when I feel it's a little bit, um, just like I've gone through a hedge backwards. So I'm gonna go through with you at the end, ladies, and show you what I'm doing. But in the meantime, I'm gonna start off with one of the companies in Sephora that I rediscovered after a long time, which is Fresh. And I don't know how many of you know it, I'm showing you backwards, but this I love. It's a scrub and it's, um, no, that's not the scrub, I'm going mad here. This is one of their original products, Sugar Face Polish. Sugar Face Polish. Um, back to front and upside down. Well, I'll just read it to you, shall I? Now, I um, saw this in Sephora, and because I was on holiday, I thought, I'm just going to try anything. And, you know, Sephora in Paris is like, everyone um, comes up to you and sort of wants to sell you something, and, and I'm in France, so the French can be a bit French. <laughs> um, but I just went up to this counter fresh and a friend of mine who'd been to see their head office in America who works in beauty had said to me oh I really rate that company and I always had that in my back of my mind I'd never tried any of their products so I saw fresh there and I thought oh you know is it just like because my impression of fresh was it's sort of like a cheap sizzly being honest that's what I thought it was and I kind of I had no idea also of the price point. I slightly, I actually thought it was much less expensive than it is. I don't know what that says about the brand. Um, so you have to look at the prices online afterwards, but the things I'm showing you are sort of 30, 50 and 70 pounds. So this is organic, mm, is it fully organic? No, is it, it might be fully organic. It was started by two people in Boston in 91. I just read out about it this morning. And um, they started with this soap called Fresh and they sold it in Boston and it sold out and then it became a sort of cultish brand. It went to Barney's, the soap, and then they started working on other products. But I think they're one of the first people to do a sugar scrub. And if you are fine with having sugar on your face, which is very good sort of decongestant, um, then I think this is an interesting consistency for an exfoliator. It smells citrusy because it obviously has some lemon or something else in it. It says strawberry seeds. 
that just for the brief? No, it's vitamin C. I'm smelling some vitamin C. Um, but the texture is going to wake my skin up. And this is one of my favourite products from them. It's, I think, about £50 for a big one. Now, I bought a little one, which is less. So quite expensive products, but effective and delightful ingredients. And my skin, I just use all of their products all weekend when I was in Paris, plus one or two other things. My skin felt really good. Um, so I'm going to start my normal routine, which is to exfoliate. And if I was doing this routine, I'm just going to try out a new product also. Good morning, Maury, with you guys. Um, I'm taking that off now. I feel my skin is waking up. Oh, it looks like it's waking up. And then, interestingly, I'm going to go for um, their cleanser because they have this soy face cleansing milk which lots of people um spoke to me about so i want to try it i'm just going to try it here now i usually do not use a cleansing milk because i love exfoliation but if ever oh my, the smell of that is fantastic i thought it would be horrible it smells like oh, 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 it's okay. oh, oh it smells like creme fraiche <laughs> i'm sorry and it's cold i know it's soy face but it smells like it smells like a it's creme fresh with chives. That's how it smells. Um, but oh, could I get back into a cleanser like this, a cream cleanser? I think the nice thing of a cream cleanser, when I did Caroline Heron's is double cleanse from um, Pixie, you know, Pixie, the brand, and it's a very nice double cleanse. That was the first time in about three years I actually used a cleanser, which is a cream cleanser. I think what's good about a cream cleanser especially if you're nervous of exfoliation, is you can really massage your skin if you're doing it because the consistency is always very good. And if you wanted to do some of that kind of um, press, pressure points to release lymphatic, then an, a cleanser is really easy to do it with if you don't want to be using an oil and you're scared of oils. So I'm cleansing using my oil massage technique. But it's it feels nice. It feels nice. And then I'm going to take... No, I'm going to actually try another route with... Oh, hope I can find it because I went into Cordulie as well. Now, let me just show you if I've got... Oh, I'll do... Now I'm going to do the Peony Brightening Facial Toner from Fresh. Here we go. Um, let me just say... Do I rate Ole? You know what? I don't rate Ole. Louise, why are you saying yuck? What are you saying yuck about it? I don't rate Ole. There's certain brands that I think are on the stores and they're mass market brands like Vichy, like Ole, I'm going to be... All those kind of brands, I've always ignored them and I think I've no ignored them even though they have millions of dollars behind them. Um, actually, Ole, Oil of Ole, I did use. I did use it. This is very nice toner. It's a very soft toner. I feel this range is really soft and gentle on my skin. I do feel that. Oh, that's delicious, that toner. I'm back into toners, everyone. Having used them in the 90s and avoided them in the noughties, in the 10s, well, since 19, since 2016 and a half, I've started using them again. I'm going to go on now to one of my favourite things that I tried, which I've got to find. And whilst it's on, we'll talk about everything else, is um, the Black Tea Instant Perfecting mask. Good morning, Vanessa. Good morning, Clara. Good morning, Anne. Is there anything to recommend about an oily nose? Yes, I've got brilliant things for oily, sebaceous, everything, because I thought of you all and I bought some stuff. Um, morning from Mumbai, morning from Israel. So, um, black tea instant perfecting mask. So, black tea, great natural antioxidant, and this mask has the weirdest texture. And when I put it on my skin, I thought, Whoa, that's odd. So you look at it, okay, look at that. And it sort of feels like you've mixed, you know when you mix sugar and butter and you're making a cake, it's got that texture as if the sugar's melted. It's really interesting. It's, it's much more interesting than just a cream. So put that on and you can leave this on. I, the lady in the shop said to me, leave it on all night if you want to. Now, I don't say that anywhere on the directions, but I love somebody who's used something for a while. And um, 
put it on, but when you put it on, it sort of, can you see it? You sort of think, is it going into my skin? And then it is. It smells very, very, very similar to Sisley's Black Rose Mask. Very similar. And because it's the same rose and they're using it for its antioxidant properties. So, you know I'm looking always from alternative to the Black Rose Mask. How I found it in this, it's a different, it's going to leave my skin with a different feeling to it. But, I really like it. ML wise, I think there's probably a bit more in this one. Price wise, this one is probably half. Um, uh, Sisley's Black Tea is a very uh, sticky, really um, hydrating, but also firming mask. And I feel that this one, I'll read about it, but I'll just tell you what's happened on my skin. Um, so it's saying, Advanced antioxidant, we know that. Hydration treatment reads smoother, healthier looking skin while enhancing luster and immediately softening the complexion. How often have we read this marketing speak as we're inside a store and thought, mm, let me get that, it's going to help me. Um, directions cleanse, use two to three times a week, blah, blah. You just got to try it. Now, would I use my roller with it? I brought my roller, in fact, from the bathroom, did I? Yes. And I think I would because I use my roller with any mask. So I might just do a bit of rolling. I'm going to do some morning morning rolling anyway because my skin is very um, kind of just, I slept on a pillow. Do I have RF treatments? One second, let me just go back to some of your questions. Do I know Fligora? I do. In fact, I have a Fligora product here, I think. Fligora, I do. And I, I rate some of their things. They have a good kind of lip and line filler in in a long white tube. And they also have a very nice CC perfecting cream. I put it on my blog and it comes in three shades. It's not that wide in its shades, but it's a, a nice product. I've got a similar product here actually, which I love. Um, so I do know them. Good morning, Gibraltar. Joanne, what do I think about Declio as a whole? I um, I'm asked this question, quest I'm asked this question so often. And Declio, I've had Declio facials over the years. I you know, use their Neroli Aroma Oil. I've used a few of their oils and I've loved their oils in their past. And years and years ago, they had one brilliant product, which was a balm. I don't know if they still have it in a jar. It was like a an emergency 101 rescue balm. And if they still make that, I would still heavily rate that as a product. But in terms of cleansing and toning and things like that, I feel those ranges are not enough for me. They're not enough of what I'm looking for. Are the products okay for cleansing eye makeup as you do not use on your eyes? I don't use them on my eyes because I have lashes. Um, who asked me that question? Sorry, darling. Um, Jenny. Uh, and when I've got lashes on, and I've got sort of lashes on that are halfway through their cycle, you can see they're, they're very good. They're done by a lady called Edie. Um, and usually then I won't use any oil-based product because I don't know if that's got oil in it or not. I just avoid my eye area. And if I want to cleanse my eye, I use um, a eye makeup remover that doesn't have oil. Um, good morning, Katiana. Good morning, Samantha. Have I tried Koha's product? I have. I tried them in. I tried them in Greece of all places. Um, and, um, and I remember I had no products with me. I'd gone on holiday and I had no products with me. And they had lovely things. I liked the packaging. That was another kind of, you know, healthy, fresh brand. Um, I think I tried their body exfoliator, their face exfoliator. I don't know if they do a toner, but I did quite rate them. I, I'd love to go back there and see them a bit more. Um, good morning from Worthing. You're up early. I hope it's sunny in Worthing, Emma, because it's sunny here. Wendy, good morning. Maria, um, I'm looking fresh after all those products. Well, I think they're very good. Do I, ha do I have RF treatments? Can you recommend a skin tightening treatment for the face? I don't know what RF is. Ooh, it makes me sound like... Uh, ignorant. I don't know what RF is. I have skin tightening treatments. I'll tell you what I have. I have um, the Dracula facial, which is when they take your plasma from your, um, from your, you know, they take your blood and they spin it in a sort of centrifuge machine. They take the plasma out and they put that back in your skin. And it's very good just for skin firming um, and also, it's meant to be incredibly good for hair loss. So around here, you wouldn't have gathered, oh, I've got a new product, I'm gonna show you. Oh, I have to go and get it. Um, 
around here I was doing it a little bit and I feel this these bits you know that kind of potential receding hairline I feel these bits have been really helped but I have that as a treatment I'm going to go in the next couple of weeks and see a lady who does lasers and just look at her treatments um, but I'm always interested in things that were without you know without a, um, uh, a knife you know what uh, what can you do like infrared as well I, I quite like and I and the one treatment I do which I love and I've had it done by many different people it's not really a treatment is sort of orange light therapy but you lay under this orange light and it's like a cur it looks like a sunbed but it just it usually I have it after I have had a fraxel or or a peel or something and then you do this and it was like a, a treatment a woman in New York did called Dan Jean and it you just came out afterwards and your skin looked unbelievable but the price just crippled you um uh sizzly makes black rose tea mask yes they do black rose tea mask which is fun any musties in paris i had such a good time in paris ladies i mean i don't know if we did too much for lila it was like a whirlwind um of uh, events but we went um we started off with um i'm just gonna take this off now we started off and arrived at our hotel and we couldn't check in for a bit so we went to Colette, which is a lovely store on Rue Faber Saint Honoré, and we um, uh, went on the ground floor. And there's lots of tiny little things you can buy there uh, as you go in the next floor up. It gets more expensive, but it's kind of great. Um, and then we went to um, where did we go to then after that? We went walking around the Tuileries. We went to the Dior show, which was incredible in the Arts Museum just by the Louvre, and it was it showed all of the Dior. Um, gowns and the sort of history of Dior and it and he used to do these miniatures for every single um outfit and it showed every single miniature it was incredible so incredible and then we went to um the Picasso Museum and we went to um Montmartre to Sacre Coeur and then we went up the Eiffel Tower I mean Lila is in bed sleep dead but it was great and I and, and Sephora of course um and Nukes Creme Fresh de Beauty, but the light isn't always available anymore. I like Nukes Creme Fresh. I'll tell you what, Nukes do also a serum in that range of the Creme Fresh, which I love. But for a while, I was wondering when I was putting it on if it was flaking off. Um, but I do. Some, we have a real mixed audience about Creme Fresh, uh, the serum, because some ladies uh, love it and some don't. But I do love it. And I used to always take it around in my handbag when I felt... I was having a day where my skin wasn't behaving and it, I just put it on in the middle of the day and it would really improve my skin. Um, hello. Thank you very much, Alicia. My part's musing with you too. It's all the information on the bank holiday. Morning, Trini. Hello. I just got the black rose teas mask from Sicily. You are going to have, you're going to have great skin. Um, uh, it's about 2.30 a.m. in Arizona. What are you doing up then? So I thought Sicily was black rose and fresh is black tea. You know what? Can I just say, you're so right, but I'm going to tell you something. Um fresh where is fresh so fresh black tea mask for sure has roses in it for sure i don't care what they say because i can smell i can smell i can smell it now fresh do a rose face mask which is different um and it's rose water and i don't know how many of you um remember my andalou um I did a, so if I think of my favorite rose mask, blah, Andalou, organic range, whole foods, 10 pounds, rose mask, 100% rose petals mask, wonderful, lovely consistency, lighter than the Sisley cream, creamy gel. Um, now, Fresh do a black rose mask as well, but it's a gel, and this has a very different consistency. But the black tea does smell like the sizzly. This doesn't. <laughs> so that's a confusion. It does sound, Jeanette, very confusing. But to me, that has absolutely no smell of roses. Sorry, it doesn't. And that absolutely smells of roses, the black tea one. I, I kind of know my smells. I know my smells. <sighs> now, is it turning into a bit of a smell, that gel? Maybe vaguely. But I, I don't like the consistency. And I'd say that the Rose Face Mask from Fresh is a sort of, it's not a really hydrating mask. I don't feel 
it says hydrates and tones. I think the word tone is a more important word to know in that uh, equation. So, you know, thank you for bringing that up. Do I use new face? No. Where is my roller from? My roller, I, I put on Trini London. It's from Jean Philbert, and it's just a dermal roller. And I use this every day. I just go back and forth and up and down all the time you see me doing it. Um, Wendy, hello. The roller, if you go on Trini London, I, I, I'll have it there. Um, Dr. Hauschka, we love Dr. Hauschka. I've got him here. I love, Dr. I love it so much. It's one of my favourite organic ranges, Dr. Hauschka. And one of my favourite products from it, if, if some of you haven't tried Dr. Hauschka, is their toned day cream. And it's this kind of weird cream, which is based on their daily moisturizer, but it has a bit of tint in it. And it kind of goes to the color of your skin, but you've got to be, you can't be porcelain. You've got to be a sort of pale pink tones to um, a light caramel. Uh, before and above that, forget it. Typical German, French, non-inclusive range. Um, the Le Mer Sheet Mask is the best one. Oh, it is very good, but I've got some new ones. Okay, so. It's silly to do mask on top of mask, but I'm going to try with you a new mask and I'll talk about one or two things when I'm here. So, oh, oh, take that off, which seems a waste, I know, but, and I don't, oh, you know, I used, oh, silly me, I used a, a two face tunnels. Hang, hang on one second, hang on one second. You see, I'm very, I'm very unstressed today, aren't I? Because I'm like, gaga. Um, just shows how much love I've got two more here. Now, what was I going to show you? I feel like the Laura and the good wife, Elspeth. Um, sorry, might be a bad reference. Okay, masks. Now, Eborium is a Korean range, and I love Eborium CC cream. And they have a new cream I'm going to try which I got in Sephora, which isn't in Space NK, called Glow Cream. Don't know what it'd be like. Again, it's done for very pale skins. But the Ginseng Shot. Imagine a Ginseng, Ginseng Shot. Love the idea of that. Um, face Sheet Mask Smoothing Effect. So, I'm going to try it now, because I can then talk about my other things. Good morning from Sunny Ledbury. Um, and I'm just going, oh, you see, it's like, a, this is a basic mask. I mean, after all those other masks, I think this is a bit boring as a mask, but I'm trying it. I'm trying it. I did remember that I might have tried this mask in a pot before. I'm not sure. So it's it's not a sort of dry sheet mask. It's definitely a wet, flabby mask. Um, I hate opening these kind of masks. They're just like, <sighs> and you never know which side to put it on. There's so much product on both sides. I'm just going to put it on any side. Um, and there that okay put it on and it's got that smell of ivorium it's funny how some you know some ranges everything smells the same like MS formula range everything smells the same number seven everything smells the same um ivorium everything smells the same which kind of makes me feel um that their ingredients are a little bit repetitive but it's also because they choose to put a fragrance into everything and they think that's the fragrance of our brand, which I get, but it doesn't give me, it doesn't encourage me to feel um, confidence in a brand when I, when I get that. Again, by the way, ladies, I am going to roll because with all the masks, with the Tilbury mask, I was doing that, with um, the um, Nanette de Gas mask, I was doing it, which is the dry sheet masks, but there's no harm for me in doing it with these because I just want to put those ingredients in a little bit quicker. Otherwise, it'd be very tedious for all of you. Um, and I'll put that on. But I, this is available, I think, in Space and Co. But I did get it in Sephora. Um, it just shows, look at that. Isn't that weird? It's definitely done not for a European shaped face. Because I want a mask over that bit. Um, okay, Rola can be patched in Arizona. From Amazon, yes, thank you, it can. Exactly right, Elizabeth Arden HR Cream. I love, I've used it many, many years. I don't know what happened. I think I went off the smell of Elizabeth Arden HR Cream. It's an incredibly, oh, it's a smell that you really, yeah, it's nostalgic, isn't it, in a way. I'm gonna get this thing of water down because I don't think I need to get, and I'm scared, I'm right by everything. Oh, okay, so, good morning. What's a good size roller for beginners? Well. I think you're talking now about um, a titanium roller. 
So this is a plastic roller. This has no metal needles in it. So that is everybody, okay? Everybody. It just helps product, helps massage your face. It's not penetrating, it's not breaking the skin. But um, needle rollers, which I did one from, I've done them from many different places. I've done Amazon's basic one I always buy, which is a titanium one for 11 pounds. I did Swiss Clinic last week, which was more expensive, lovely presentation, lovely sterilizing kit, nice Japanese needles. Then I've also done Glam Glow, who do fantastic rollers. And there's many different people coming out, and I'm quite excited by a roller that's gonna come out with a woman who's a professional micro needler, dermatologist kind of woman. So when I hear more about that, I'll say, but I think the principle of rolling is a very good thing. Um, why do you use a roller for a mask? Because I think it will penetrate more. I just, you know, sometimes if you have very sensitive skin and you roll, you could leave the imprint on your face. That's in fact probably why I do it, because on my forehead I have, I have quite thin skin, and if I roll and roll away in the morning over it with a cream underneath, and I don't go up and down and then left to right, I will get perhaps a little indentation. So this way I don't. Um, that's the idea. I know it's not strictly skincare, but could you recommend a good eye makeup remover for oh, 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 oh. I have used for years the Lancome Biophonique or something, and then I used Bioderma, which is the one you can buy in boots. It's it's like in a pink bottle or a white bottle, a blue. There's one all free and one non all free. There's one sensor skin, uh, and it's a basic uh, eye makeup remover. I think it's great, and it doesn't sting the eyes. And a lot of makeup artists use it because they have more lots of different people who might have a sensitivity um, and I think that's the one I've most seen used on shoots as well. Body Shop Mask is a cheaper option. I've got a, I know I need to find some cheaper masks and I will put Body Shop on my list. I don't hold out hope because I've, I haven't actually rated Body Shop often. Didn't like any of their vitamin C range um, but I will go back and I will try and find a good one and I agree it'd be nice to have an inexpensive mask. I think my favourite inexpensive-ish mask is Boots Number no. 7 Beautiful Skin Mask because it gives incredible hydration. It comes in that pump thing and it's, I can't remember how much it is, but it's a really, really nice mask. Good morning, Arantxa. Lip lines starting to show. Any advice, please? Lip lines. God, they kill me. I know what you mean. I tell you what I do is I exfoliate every morning. I use my roller. And when I put in product, I put lots there. And that's the most I can do. Um, what else can I do for lip lines? I mean, some people have them um, injected. I'll tell you what I do do when I do Botox, which I'm gonna do next Friday. I haven't done it for about six months. I'll do here, and then I'll do here, and then I'll, he'll do a tiny bit where I have some deep lines above my line. So, if I purse my lips <laughs> like this, it won't purse so much. And that's a kind of slightly preventative thing. So I'd recommend that. So it's not in the lip, it's on your line of your lip and it just stops you pursing your lips too much. So that's my best advice. Um, good morning from Brussels. How do I clean the roller? Surgical spirit. This roller I wash under the tap without water, otherwise surgical spirit. Um, good morning, good morning. You met Edie last week, Liz. Liz. She is fabulous. This is the lady who does my lashes. <laughs> And she's so on, she's the nicest woman and um, she has, if you want to, and you live in London because she comes, goes to people, she's uh, got, it's called um, Lots of Lashes and it's um, lots of lashes.co.uk, I think. But I put it on my Instagram occasionally. Um, morning from Sweden. Good morning, Nasha. Quit selling, nukes quit selling in the States. I need a new Mislia water. Have any only recommendations? I would say the, the, the um, The one I just said, the one I just said, <laughs> beginning with the B, which is the one to take the eyelashes off. That's the best miscellaneous water, and I'm, I'm sorry, I will remember it in a minute. Declia products are too expensive. I wonder, I mean, it's a good point, because for what they are, I think to myself, that's like a mid-range thing. Elemis, now Elemis have a new, I'm going to all your questions, it's really nice actually, because when I'm on my own, I don't then jabber on. Um, I, uh, because Chloe and, and stuff are here, so I do jump around with them. So Elemis, they have a new, they had many, many years ago, one product I love for them with their marine cream. And I have just got another marine cream. It's quite expensive. 
to try, but I won't know for a month yet because I'm going to bring it into my routine. I'm starting a whole new routine next week with a whole load of different products and it will be in that one. So I'll let you know. But I think that some of their products have merit. Um, hello. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Ready for in Paris again. I know. Only products I found in my price book doesn't affect my eczema and it's not tested on animals. I love you. You know what? Would you consider making a trip to a Desiem store, um, Terry, if there is one near you, and looking and researching for stuff for your eczema? Because their prices are less than the body shop and they have active ingredients. So if you have eczema, but you also have other issues like aging, dryness, whatever, well, eczema, you have dryness, but you want to exfoliate your skin and stuff, see if they can deal with it. There's a few products there that could work. Um, and I think with something like eczema, to have one really decent, great product, um, you could go for a, a medical tube or something which you can get from your doctor, which happens to have great anti-aging benefits too. So I'd really research it more than just going to the body shop if you can. Uh, Radio Freaks, yes. Can I use my body shop on that? Yes, yes. They do that. Um, they do it in the neck of it. Um, Lake District Cumbria, what do the roller do? Do you just use, I, I use it all the time, so I'm going to take this off now, by the way. So that's coming off. So this was the Ginseng Arborium Mask. And this is meant to kind of wake up your skin. So there's a little bit of excess on it. So I'm doing my funny little technique of lifting my skin like that. There. And then my lovely lady taught me to press here like a pressure point to release your lymphatic. So because it's the morning, I'm doing that. And then I'm going up and then down on here, down there. And then I'll do my little scissor again, quickly, there. And I also, I'm really going around my eyes at the moment, especially on the upper eyelid, because I've noticed I haven't really done anything with it. So that mask, I've got to tell you, now I'm just getting the excess off, so I'm just seeing. I feel it's very gym singy. I feel, my skin feels awake. I really like it. I really like it. It's great. Now, hydrating? Yes, actually, it is quite hydrating. Yeah. 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 All right. Now, I'm going to not go on for so much long because I feel I'm blah, blah. Products good and metal. You're so very sweet. You E45 on my face. It's not wrong. you just probably got brilliant skin. You don't need to use anything else. So go, lady. It's fantastic. Susanna used to use um, Rose Trichology. Uh, Rose tr Trilogy and e, uh, E45. And I know many women who have amazing skin who use E45. So I can't, uh, I can't say no to that. Why should we avoid mineral oil? Because some people are slightly, um, you know, they get allergic to it a bit. Uh, not everyone, um, and there's different ones. But I think it's just a general, not liked by many people. Um, thank you very much. I love my Paris trip. Um, have I heard of Infinite? Natural beauty products, only four products. No, and I'll look at all of you who, um, all of you. Okay, Dove Beauty Bar. Now, let's talk about soap bars. I last used soap bars when I did the three-step clinique when I was 19. So, would I use a soap bar on my face now? No fucking way. Because I just feel, however soft the soap is, that's not my routine. I really, I just feel soap and water routine. It's too back to basics for me. And I feel it would really dry my skin up. There might be, I use actually also, Erno Laszlo had a black soap, which I used to use when I had acne. I couldn't go back to soaps. I couldn't. But then if you've been a soap and water girl, Dove has lovely ingredients. So why not? Why not, actually? You know, if you would like to, but I know it's not for me. Um, uh, Eborium at the Lost Town Outlet store, and I found that they're related. Yes, they are. That's interesting, because I thought Lost Town was owned by a big French company. Are they related? Maybe now they've been bought by the same people. That's interesting, Maria. Mm, love the, I love to know who's bought who, because then it, you wonder if they're beginning to move their factories, change their ingredients, and get things cheaper. Because usually when companies buy a company, then they strip out the cost, and they think, how can I actually make this company run even more efficiently so I can get even more profit? Um, or grow a brand because it's quite new. But generally, there's a little bit of cost cutting going on when you are. Elizabeth, I oh, know, I agree with you. I'm racing through now. Bioderma, thank you so much. 
Um, Michelle, Bioderma, it's uh, Miss Yale Water, and you can order it on Beauty, Beautyist. Uh, can I just say, I love it that you all help each other, because I'm just, um, I'm just, oh, I didn't realize all these comments were down here. Good morning, everyone. Am I frozen? Any recommendations for thicker skin? Um, I've got, I mean, all the products I'm using now, I feel, you can't sleep in Mexico, Anna, hello. Um, hello from Scotland. Adam, hello from Scotland. I like it sometimes. Hairline, shall I talk about hairline? Okay. I think hairline, oh, I have that product downstairs. I have to wait for next Monday. It's a really good product. Um, no soap on the face. Okay, we're nearly getting it. All right, now, I'm going to finish off with a couple of things I bought that I like. So I want to say first, that mask, the Korean mask. Let me show it to you again, even though it's the wrong way around. There. Eborium Ginseng Sheet Mask. It's great. I love it. Now, for those ladies who have got problems with their pores... This, what is pore, pore tightening bounce cream and a pore tightening memory sleeping mask. This, I got at Sephora because somebody had said to me it was brilliant for pore. So I'm going to give it to Fleur, who's got a bit of a pore problem, and see what she thinks. Another one is Dr. Chart, the man who did those, that rubber mask. Um, and he has got this product, it's called Derma Clear, and that's very good. Um, then I've got another one from What Is Pore, a steam foam cleanser. They come in sets of two and the pore tightening cooling foam cleanser. All pore tightening products, really good ones. Oh, two more things. Dr. Chart, who I only thought of, because when we see a brand in the UK, sometimes we only see like 10% of it. And in Selfridges, when I saw the um, mask and Dr. Chart, I didn't realise he actually has a skincare range. Um, as well, you know, like normal skincare range. And this water drop, love the name of that, um, is just kind of sludgy. It's a general moisturiser. Smells of, it sort of smells nice, it smells citrusy. But it's, you know when, I don't know if any of you use Chanel Vita Aqua, you know, the, the, foundation which is based on water so this concept is like tidal from sunday riley it's a moisturizer which is water-based so it's quite good if you have oily skin but also if you have my skin which is slightly dry it's not heavy but it's a very 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 nice moisturizer i really really rate it love it love it okay my last two things dr shah shah sorry dr shah Dr. Jart, Chanel Vita Lumiere, thank you so much. I, I'm so happy that you are using my brain for me today, ladies, because I sure am not. Um, so BB Beauty Balm from Dr. Jart. Now, BB Beauty Balms can be great, but they can also be um, drying. So I tried this and there was, there's only one color. Typical, so typical. Well, there was only one color in, in Sephora, but as a product, it's quite nice because it is also SPF 45. It goes on really beautifully. It's much richer than the Aborium CC cream. Um, much richer. It goes on like a really nice moisturizer. It gives quite good coverage. I'm just actually trying to look myself in the mirror as I do this, like that. And SPF 45, so that's kind of brilliant. Like that, we like that. Now, when I was there as well, I got three other little things I'm going to show you. Cause I, I mean, I've got so many things. I've got to remember what I showed you and what I haven't showed you because there's some nice things. Oh my God, I've got to show you this. I've got to show you this thing. <laughs> okay, two things here. Um, sugar, do a, um, no, I'll start with this. So, a borium, do a rouge tint like that. So, I, I, when you put it on your lip, it comes out unevenly. So, I'm just going to put a bit here. Yeah. and throw it on and it's that you know there's when you look at sort of Korean beauty there's I don't know if you ever watch Korean beauty YouTubers and they always put on the lightest tint and it's hardly any makeup but that's quite a nice tint it's quite a nice color so I really love that and I've never seen that in England then also my um, lady who does my makeup when I do telly on this morning does I've got to take my head out now uh, does, um, uses Anastasia's, um, Anastasia's brow things, and 
I kind of always like the way she does my brows. And she said, oh, you can't buy it in England. I'll buy you one next time. And then I thought, oh, what's pity? And I thought we could, you could buy it in England. Maybe you can. Anyway, I bought one in Paris. And I even bought the bloody brush to do it with. I hate brushes. I want to do everything without a brush. But I thought I'd try it. So... The good thing is you kind of control it yourself and she said to me get it out and then there it is and then take a bit of water in your brush put it on there it's like a dry pomade and then mix it in the bottom of your thing it makes it all dirty but she just you know this is this is a technique so then you just want to now I haven't got my glass on and I'm doing it just paint it on I think that brows make such a difference. I do get my brows done um, by a lady. I get them tinted, but occasionally I need more done. I have to put my thing on and see if I'm doing it correctly. You know what? There was a time when you ladies had said to me, some of you ladies, look, do you, can you get for us um, glasses that you can do makeup with? God, this is the first time ever I'm doing makeup with glasses on, but just put the glass on the bridge of your nose. I sort of feel like I'm still doing Okay, I like it. I mean, it does dry well. And then you've got the other end of the brush there just to do the look of the season. Do you want to have that kind of, you know, do you want your brow going up? I always brush my eyes up a bit just to kind of lift, lift my brow. Let me see. Am I a mad person? It's quite dark on the right, but I think it's a very good product and I used it before and I love it. Now, da da da! This is. This is the most exciting. Uh, I have the unsafe brow product and the water is a great tip. I'll try it again later. It does make a difference now. Has anyone ever come across these? Anyone? I found them in Bon Marché in Paris. And I've got two different types actually. But I'm just going to show you because they're, they're called Wonder Strips. And I don't know how many of you suffer from that kind of, you know, your eyes going down. But the lady said to me, you put it on and you choose. I chose medium, there's three different sizes. Um, and they look like this. There, okay. So like that, I don't know which is small, and which is medium, which is large. I'm gonna go for the middle one, that one. So you take a strip off like that. Hang on, is it going to work? Yes, like that, there. And you put it, I don't know if any of you have done this, um, and you put it on your line of your, now this could be wrong for me because this I'm sure is an Asian, um, like a Korean eye that has been done before, but let's just see if I can do it. I got, I, you know, I can't do it looking at you because it's too embarrassing, but look at my eyes now and just look at the skin doing that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this just above my eye, but I gotta do it closely here. So, I'm doing that. Hang on, hang on, I've done it wrong. One second. Hang on, because I want to get it right. It's so good when you get it right. I think where you've got to put it is just a bit lower. It's like a contact lens for the eye. I might have the wrong size in. But do you see? Do you see if my eye looks more open, that side? Do you see? I mean, it is just, maybe I've got to do, let me do the other ones, the other side. But it is, I did it in Paris yesterday and I thought, oh, holy moly, this is incredible. I came home, I showed my boyfriend, he went, wow. He could have just been happy to see me. Um, and then I'm going to put one like this. I should do it so it's quite close to the eye. Yeah, I do think it works, and I think it lifts up your eye. I mean, we could put a few more on, couldn't we? But, quite interesting, I think you've got to play around with it, but you can leave it on all day. I can't feel them on, which is great. Um, I'm going to end also with two really nice lips. I'll just do one of them from um, Sugar and from Fresh, and I love this colour. I just love 
think it's such a pretty colour. And when I think of a kind of pinky colour for me, that's a good pinky colour. There! So, that was my Paris trip. My hair, when I want to make it a little bit frou-frou again, I'm going to show you what I do. I'll finish with this. You've probably all gone to have your breakfast now. I'm pretty damn hungry. But I take Color Wow, this transformer, which is what I didn't use originally in my beauty routine. So I just want to see if any of you... Are there any treatment for under-eye makeup? Hang on, I think, where are we? Can you put eyeshadow on top of it? I don't know. I'm not sure. I'll do a full one on it uh, on an Instagram so we can see. Um, so I'm going to take my transformation stuff and just shove it in my hair. And you might think, oh, it's going to make it sticky and yucky. But I'm just going to shove it in the hair. And it feels a bit wet. Like that. And then I'm going to take my diffuser, if it's on. Oh, it's on. Far too big. And then I'm just going to turn my head upside down and just do a little bit of drying of the product. And it puts a nicer, it's putting a nicer smell back in my hair because I've got all the smells of Paris and I haven't washed my hair yet. So, but this transformation cream is really fab because it gives tremendous texture to my hair again. I can mush it around. I know I look slightly like the rest, rest of the Hesperus, but you know I'm feeling comfortable with my hair. It's different from my other favorite product that I use with my new hair look, which is the Ray Foam Dry Shampoo. You can get the general gist just about to put in the bowl of water and electrocute myself. Um, there, but you can get the general gist. It lifts up any, any kind of star you've got. And I'll finish it off later when you're not in the room. Ladies, it was a pleasure chatting to you. I hope um, you've had a nice, um, a new, the couples have a new collection. Could I do a video on this? Yes. And I'm going to go to Arquette on Thursday, which is this new store, which is owned by... Um, the people who own COS and, well, I hope I'm going to Arquette. I don't know if they'll let me film inside because you know how COS are. They never let us film inside. But um, it's kind of Scandi, even more minimalist. Um, it was lovely talking to you. Thank you for everyone who joined in. And if you're joining later, and first of all, can I just say now, oh, two things. Oh, I want to show you that as well. Um, I will not put these products up on the blog until tomorrow night because um, it's a holiday today in England and I got to go off and have a time with my daughter and um, then I will put them on tomorrow with Chloe. So <laughs> I'll speak to you all later. Have a wonderful day if you're in England and it's a bank holiday and if you're not and you're going to bed in Australia then um, have a lovely evening and um, if you've just woken up somewhere and it's not a holiday, welcome to your week. Bye.